Hello YouTube, this is Magnolia Mo. I am back with another video. Uh, and this one, I have to tell you, it has been the most uh, time consuming uh, and, and the most uh, uh, difficult video that I've had to make so far. The reason for that uh, basically is, is about the topic that I'm going to, to cover today, right? It is uh, uh, around subwoofer calibration, uh, and, and it is it is not an easy subject, uh, obviously, because calibrating a subwoofer uh, is, is one of the most difficult things that you can do. And if you don't have the right tools, uh, it, then you're just guessing, right? So uh, from my perspective, you know, I'm not a pro at this. I'm, I'm, I'm an enthusiast. I like to, to, to tweak. I like to, to play around with, with the tools that I have. Uh, one of the tools that I have is the OmniMic system with a calibrated mic. Uh, and then, um, you know, I now have two uh, SVS uh, subwoofers, the SB16 Ultra and then the SB3000. Uh, both uh, you, can, you can use the SVS subwoofer app with. Um, and the app has lots of cool features, you know, base correction, uh, room gain co compensation. Uh, and then the most important thing is the parametric EQ. Since I have two subs, in, es in essence, I, I uh, had six different bands to, to play with, even though, you know, each sub only gets three bands, right? Uh, but you get, get what I'm trying to say uh, here, which is, you know, it gives me more flexibility. So, so I wanted to make a vi video where, <clears throat> you know, I, I have, obviously, I have uh, Odyssey that I uh, multi EQ XD32 on my Marantz 8805A which um, I had run and, and which I had been listening to. Uh, what I wanted to do uh, was actually utilize the parametric EQ uh, on using the SVS uh, subwoofer app uh, to, to, to fine tune right, the bass and tame some of the, the, the strong frequencies that I have in this room uh, and, and some of the, the nulls that I see in pure direct, direct mode. I wanted to to eliminate some of those get you know as much of a uh, 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 not a flat response obviously it's hard to get a flat response with uh, with what I have but 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 something that's within 5 dBs right uh, a curve uh, where Odyssey then can can do its thing what I learned was uh, you know if, if you have a parametric EQ uh, that you want to utilize whether you know in, in case of uh, uh, in this case which is SVS uh, SVS's app, um, number one is you need a subwoofer that, that has that capability, right? So I believe it's SVS, uh, uh, the SB2000 Pros and above, uh, where you can utilize the app with. Second, you need some sort of a software. Um, so I have the OmniMic system, um, you know, other folks uh, use, I, I believe pretty much everybody use R -E -R -E -W, uh and uh, the UMic, uh, mini DSP with, with the UMic. Uh, to calibrate their subwoofers. So I'm not attempting to calibrate a subwoofer. Uh, I'm attempting to to tame the bass and and maybe you know uh, eliminate the nulls uh, and, and 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 let Odyssey do its thing so that it's less uh, EQing that's done on Odyssey. Now I understand EQ on top of EQ also is not a good thing. So so what I tried to take note of and I, and I tried to. This is where it took a lot of time. Was I didn't want to to boost frequencies, right? So, so in essence, um, it is recommended to to uh, to cut the frequencies um, as opposed to boost them, right? Because when you boost them, then Odyssey is going to do do its thing and is going to kind of ruin uh, your uh, overall um, uh, subwoofer response in your in your room. Um, so uh, ultimately, uh, you know, I spent a number of hours doing this. I'm going to actually walk you through through what I did um, and, and it's going to be a little quick because of the video, obviously, but uh, you have to take my word for it. It took me, I, I forgot how many hours, but lots of hours uh, to get to the point where I can actually make a video on this. Um, and then, uh, and finally, uh, once I got the curve, what I did was uh, I, uh, I ran Odyssey and, and I have to say, I do really like the sound that I'm getting right now. I know there's more room for improvement, so I'm going to continue, uh, you know, to play around and to, to, to tweak uh, as we move forward. 
but um, without further ado, let's get on with it. Here is the before and after uh, view. So the red curve is the after and then the black is before. You can see there's a huge dip after 50 hertz and then there's a big bump uh, between, uh, between 30 and 40 hertz. And that is what I uh, corrected uh, using the uh, SVS app the parametric EQ. And here's um, uh, our three three graphs here. The blue is the pure direct, the red curve is the Odyssey corrected curve, and then the black is the, the parametric EQ that I applied, uh, which was pretty good. Okay, so we're going to start with our default curve. This is pure direct, no EQ, no parametric EQ applied yet. Uh, first, we're going to go, we're going to go into our SVS subwoofer app and we're gonna access the the sp3000 first frequency we're gonna target is the 38 hertz frequency we're gonna cut it by 9 dbs and then we're gonna go over to the 55 hertz frequency we're gonna cut it by eight and a half dbs the 90 hertz frequency we're gonna boost it by 3.9 dbs all q factor 4 and then head over to the sp16 ultra First frequency we're going to target is the 20 hertz frequency. Two point, we're going to boost it by 2.1 dBs. And then the 30 hertz frequency we're going to cut it by 3.6 dBs. And then the 40 hertz frequency we're going to cut it by minus 6.5 dBs. And there you have it. This is going to get you, uh, get us to a very e you know, even curve without uh, the, the exaggerated bumps right between 30 and 40 hertz uh, that we were seeing and the suck out uh, between around 55 hertz. This is the best I could do um, with, the, with the parametric parametric EQ, but the curve looks great. It so here is uh, the Odyssey corrected curve versus the parametric EQ. The red curve is the Odyssey. As you can see, Odyssey uh, did do its correction. It bumped up the low frequencies, uh, 20 hertz, uh, uh, by, a, I want to say, about, by 5 dBs, which is correct. Uh, you want more energy in the low frequencies. And then as you go higher, you want to roll off, uh, you know, uh, and, and uh, to a certain degree, uh, the parametric EQ, in my opinion, did its job because it was less uh correction that odyssey had to do uh, and as i mentioned i do love uh, the sound that i'm getting now so there you have it uh, i hope you uh you found this video useful uh and and i hope you uh can share like and subscribe um, and please feel free to leave comments for me uh, I'll do my best to get back to you uh, and I always try to, to use the comments and feedback uh, to, to improve right on what I'm doing. So, so again, uh, thanks for watching.